Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us tmasso at the 1916company.com for purchase, pricing, and availability questions about this watch. Today, we are discussing something extraordinary, not only a 99-piece limited edition from 2020, but one of the only examples I've ever seen on the rare full factory platinum bracelet. This is the 99-piece 2020 model year FP Journe Chronomet Souverain Dubai, launched to celebrate the opening of FP Journe's first Dubai boutique in the Dubai Mall. That happened in 2019. This watch came on the market the next year, and it features a number of culturally appropriate elements tailored towards a Middle Eastern market, including a lovely green dial and a couple of special salutes on the reverse, including a unique reference number, CSD, or CSD being the unique reference lettering scheme. So the watch being 40 millimeters in diameter, 8.3 millimeters thick, and then we have from lug tip to lug tip, 48 millimeters, but on the bracelet, it wears larger than this watch on the original strap. This is actually quite broad at 54.6 millimeters from end link to end link. There's a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs, and as you can see, the end link here is actually quite involved. Attaching a bracelet to one of these includes a little end fitment piece that's held in place by a screw. The bracelet is made with incredible integrity, and it costs tens of thousands of dollars, meaning it is not a casual addition for those shopping, even at the original price point of this watch. To see it changes the aesthetic of a watch, adding richness. Again, being culturally appropriate here, we do not have external gold. The case is platinum, and the bracelet is platinum. And don't be fooled by the aesthetic, which is that of a green chronomet bleu. The Chronomet Bleu is a 39 millimeter watch. This is definitely a 40 like the Chronomet Souverain, but it does away with the Chronomet Souverain's power reserve indicator. The bracelet is a five link design, and as you can see in profile, every link that is removable is fixed in place using screws. We also have an intermediate size link in case you're in between sizes. The internals to the clasp is, is customary adjourn. You can see that the inside of the clasp, the actual mechanical parts, the chassis, made of white gold. And you could see that the platinum is actually quite a bit whiter than white gold. It's rare to see them side by side, but in contrast, this is purely white, whereas this is a more I would call it a warmer tone. So that's an interesting feature, and you may ask why a white gold interior clasp. And the reason is because white gold is the hardest of the golds, and all 750 grade watchmaking golds are harder and more mechanically resilient than platinum. So the most stressed parts of the clasp, the functional components, the chassis elements, those are made of white gold, which is the strongest of the golds and much stronger mechanically than platinum. You could see it is an extraordinary watch and it has an extraordinary combination of features. This bracelet by itself is monstrously heavy. Add a solid gold movement and a platinum case to match, and the feel in the hand is awesome, just awe-inspiring. The case is simple and well-established. We have lugs that are blended into the case band and turned down 90 degrees from the horizontal of the case. Everything is polished here. The mid case is defined by the overlapping lip of the domed bezel and case back, and then we have the famed double dimple knurled unbranded crown instantly recognizable as an FP Journe piece. You can see that the bracelet is fully integrated into the case band, so it traces both the curvature of the lugs and the arc of the case. Now, the dial has a lush and lovely green lacquer with a very fine matte finish on the white gold hands as well as the numerals themselves. It's got a lovely glossy gleam to it. That's the dial base, but then the numerals are all matte finished with a railroad style track out board for reading the minutes. Flip it all over and the reference CSD, you can see that unique reference right there out of 99 pieces, it includes a movement that will be familiar to Chronomet Bleu and Chronomet Souverain fans. So you can see solid gold, 18 karat rose gold bridges and plates, a distinguishing feature of FP Journe movements, and then two barrels that are operating in parallel to provide a very flat and massive curve of torque to the escapement, which beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour or six beats per minute, 22 joules. It's adjusted in six positions, which is one more than a standard chronometer. And I've put these on chronoscopes before and they live up to the name chronomet. They actually keep better than COSC time. The watch 
features a very large balance, so what it lacks in beat rate, it is, you know, a three hertz movement after all, it makes up in the sheer inertia of the balance and the fact that it's very precisely adjusted in six positions with a durable free sprung balance architecture that will take and hold that precise adjustment even in the face of shocks and concussion. Now you can see the barrels right here. And then taking a look, you'll note that there is no obvious drivetrain between the escapement and the barrels. The drivetrain is hidden and it runs under the dial to create this open and beautiful gulf between the barrels, the power source, and the escapement, the regulator. You can see that the barrels have been satinated. There's a sunray motif on the base plate adjacent to the barrels, engine turning adjacent to the escapement and the balance, and then linear stripes across the bridges with locating pegs used to locate the bridges on the underlying structure. You can see those have been polished on their tops. The bridges have those stripes on their tops. And then if you look, you can see that there is a mirrored bevel on their edges, as well as polished screw heads. And you can see the swan's neck style click spring there has also been polished. And then we have a solarized crown wheel core. All in all, a good looking movement in the watch. 30 meters water resistant, but extraordinarily rare with only 99 made and built for Dubai. These are rare in the Western world, even more so with this extraordinary full factory platinum bracelet. Reach out to T. Masso at the1916company.com for purchase and pricing details.